welcome all uh, my dear students uh, i am pravin kulkarni educator on an academy with me is uh, kumar vishes uh, let me disclose his rank he is all india one i repeat a i r one in pi section that is production and industrial and he also secured all india 38 rank in gate mechanical this year so i welcome kumar vishesh thank you sir so what were your feelings like uh, when you saw your gate rank and it was uh, like all india one so it is a dream of all what were your uh, first reactions yes yeah, sir i felt really good it was uh, special to be rank one it's uh, really special to be rank one so it was a very good feeling last year you secured a fourth rank in pi right? yes sir and uh, right now you are in ntpc yes sir uh, can you please tell uh, about your uh, background like uh, 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 where are you from like uh, your uh, schooling and colleges in a brief manner yes sir actually i am from dhanbad jharkhand i did my schooling from delhi public school dhanbad after that i went to bit sindri I completed my B.Tech in production engineering in 2019. Then I got into NTPC through Gate 21 mechanical, and then uh, I wanted to switch from NTPC, so started to prepare again after one year gap. Great, great. Uh, like uh, when you started your preparation, uh, what were uh, the essential things that you thought ke, like I should do this at any cost? What were those inputs? Sir, it is uh, very essential to complete all subjects thoroughly. Don't rush into thinking that there is some quick solution to it. So complete all subjects thoroughly. Take your time. Uh, there are so many good educators on the academy. You can uh, uh, study your subjects through your books, through your uh, educators, from any source you want. But complete it in all respects don't leave any subject don't think that i leave two three subjects then then also it will be all right complete all subjects thoroughly and that is the most important things for people who are starting to prepare then tests and revisions is the most important before appearing great great and here uh the noteworthy point is complete all subjects and uh vishesh has used one word don't rush just for the sake of completion of subjects don't rush so you have to cover the subject in a very detailed and systematic manner he clearly said that give time that is very very important see how tests are important uh, vishesh uh, in your preparation journey so are they uh, like uh, uh, do we need to take more tests or do we uh, need to expose to many tests or uh, like uh, uh, just few tests and thorough analysis is enough is a balance not too many tests but certainly tests are essential without appearing for tests it is i don't think it would be easy to score well in exams because eventually uh, appearing for tests increases our skills of answering questions within time limits so that is very important to appear for tests appear for subject tests appear for full length tests and uh, another important thing is do not uh, judge yourself by the results of the tests mostly i never got good results in tests but <laughs> I knew one thing, if I'm not getting good results in test, it means there are many questions that I can uh, now solve again. There are questions in the test which I couldn't solve. So I've got something new to add to my arsenal. So that is the way you have to keep moving forward. Great, great. So I, I really appreciate uh, this point. Like, uh, don't get afraid with the result of your test. So get exposed to tests. Uh, Vishesh says, he not many tests, but whatever tests you take up, in a balanced way and uh, try to improve uh, from your uh, faults or mistakes, whatever it may be. Great. Uh, the most important part that students uh, find during their preparation journey is revision. Suppose they start their preparation in the month of February or March, let us suppose. So uh, students are preparing uh, the future aspirants. Say they are appearing for GATE 2025. Some of the students have already started uh, in the month of March. 
so they cover certain subjects say in march one subject uh, april another subject may another subject say uh, in june uh, they might have completed four to five subjects so generally what happens is they tend to forget and uh, are there any tricks to revise subjects or like how did you revise uh, uh, subjects during your preparation this is the most essential part and uh, uh, i don't mind sp uh, spending time on this vishesh he please guide them with revision so there are multiple revisions needed uh, because if we complete a subject once uh, thoroughly complete a subject once even then we will forget it after one or two months that will happen that is obvious but uh, we have to revise it multiple times multiple revisions are necessary like three four revisions of subjects of your notes make short notes make notes whatever suits a particular individual it's not necessary to make short notes of every subject revise your notes revise the difficult questions revise those questions which you faced in tests and couldn't solve it so uh, revisions multiple revisions are necessary of all subjects great great and here again one point to be noted is like you have to customize your preparation don't take like uh, you may be listening to many videos like uh, from uh, toppers and gate rankers like what he clearly said vishesh clearly said that whatever suits you like there is no need for you to prepare short notes and it may be required also it depends on you that is a really a uh, very important point like uh, do they like how many uh, like uh, full length tests do you suggest and when to take those uh, full length tests full length test should be taken right before the exam like one or two months two months before the exam appear start appearing for full length tests on a regular basis so uh, not before that even if they are trying to appear for the tests before that it's all right but full length test should be appeared uh, in, uh, in the month of december january okay Great. date is in february and how many tests do you suggest like is there any number uh, like uh, the question may look a bit uh, uh, ambiguous but like uh, is there anything like number of tests to be taken so uh, not necessary number of tests is uh, not uh, necessary that uh, too many tests are also not required but i i appeared for i think four five six uh, full length tests not more than that great so like uh, how were you doing in your full length test like uh, was it up to the mark or like uh, were you uh, not happy with your uh, performance or were you happy uh, during the uh, practice tests or mock tests the subject tests are uh, slightly difficult i felt uh, in subject tests uh, i was uh, stuck somewhere i couldn't score the uh, very high marks but in full length tests some of the tests are little easier some of the tests are tricky there are all, all types of tests so some tests i would score the uh, decent marks but some tests i would not uh, score good marks mostly in subject tests i didn't score uh, good marks there were many people ahead of me i could see okay great great so uh, and uh, some uh, regular questions that i find from students is like uh, sir uh, i'm totally distracted with social media like uh, facebook whatsapp like uh, how to uh, overcome this problem like even uh, people like us we are uh, continuously busy with uh, the social media activities so we are really not coming out of it so what to do you tell me like how so did I you tackle this i don't use much of social media at all only in the amount which is necessary like my facebook account i don't think i have used it for uh, months sometime maybe i logged in don't keep its apps most important if you have its app you will open it i don't have any apps of uh, any social media apps only whatsapp is there because it has become a necessity anyways but uh, other apps i don't have their apps i don't open those uh, social media accounts great 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 see my dear students please listen to this and he said uh, when you have apps you are uh, you uh, tend to open it and uh, it will kill your time so please uh, stop it and uh, uh, like how uh, this platform helped you uh, uh, during your preparation seven academy is the main reason of uh, scoring marks in these exams because in uh, 2019 i passed out but there was no um, i don't think there was uh, there were educators on an academy at that time i remember so i prepared on my own 
in 2020 i appeared for the uh, the exam but i fell short i scored 718 rank i remember in 2020 i saw there was uh, many educators you were also there in 2020 so i joined an academy in 2020 and of course its uh, fee was also less i didn't have to go anywhere else in delhi or somewhere i was at the comfort of my home and i could prepare with the all of you guys you you were there rajiv sir was there so and these people and uh, it helped me a lot because an academy was very it made my preparation very simple no need to go to any place live in hostels and all of that was bypassed uh, we are just guides uh, basically predominantly i can say it is your uh, dedication it is your uh, hard work that uh, made you reach uh, to this stage very proud of you uh, and one more thing like uh, i personally feel that uh, even though you follow educators but i personally feel that student should go through uh, textbooks i personally feel i feel because uh, you find some new questions uh, look at every time there is a scope for improvement so what textbooks do you suggest like uh, because uh, pi you got all india first rank so can you suggest some production books because yes, there are manufacturing ah. yes so sorry to interrupt. Like, uh, uh, sorry to interrupt, uh, Vishesh. I'm really sorry. So actually, uh, for uh, there are different topics in production, but we find no single book is uh, giving a holistic approach. Like, uh, what were your inputs? So uh, actually, I have prepared only one mechanical. I just appeared for PI paper. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I prepared for mechanical, but uh, yeah, I can suggest PM Rao is a very good book for manufacturing. For that manufacturing part, two volumes, volume one, volume two. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Pian Rao, I found it good. How about Goshen Malik? Yes, sir. Goshen Malik is also very good. It's very uh, crisp book, not too much of text. It's very crisp and precise. But yes, sir, uh, but there is uh, this issue that you will not find all things in one particular book. So there was this issue. Uh, but uh, the most important part for me was Rajiv sir's inputs in the manufacturing because his questions he had a practice course uh, so that practice course he put in all questions of previous ias questions ese questions iefs questions once we solved those conventional questions gate questions became easier for us great 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 so what are your future plans like you messaged me uh, last year that uh, you have you have plans to prepare for civil services exam also like uh, are you in that direction so I am in that direction, but that direction has slightly shifted towards ESE because I thought ESE would be a bit easier for me being uh, technically strong in these subjects would maybe help me. So okay. I am preparing for ESE right now, but uh, civil services is always there in mind. As soon as I get rid of ESE, I'll uh, move towards civil service. Great. And definitely we are there to support you. and. Uh... Uh, like uh, recently we have added so many new questions and uh, i think you have studied strength of materials rac steam power plants and uh, power plant one power plant two from me and i have added so many questions like definitely uh, we are there to support you in your journey uh don't think that uh, like uh, the, the journey is over we are we are with you till uh the end always with you and to sum up all this like uh what are the three key points three key points that a student should take a note of it while preparing three key points so, which you find it to be essential you cannot uh, like get rid of it so the first and foremost is uh, thorough preparation of every subject uh, don't uh, rush into subjects like many people even i thought that uh, how to cover subjects quickly there is no uh, method to go through it quickly. Give your time. Give a lot of time to subjects. Initially, when students will start, they will take probably more than a month for one subject. It's all right. No issues. So put in time. Prepare very proper notes. Don't leave topics. Don't leave subjects. Prepare thoroughly for every subject. That is one. The other thing is multiple revisions of all subjects. Multiple revisions. That is second. And the third most important is, of course, tests. And in tests, I will always say, do not uh, look at the result of tests and uh, think and judge yourself. There will be tests. Some of the tests are really easy and uh, you may score very well. 
uh, that doesn't mean you have assured uh, great results. Some of the tests might be very difficult. So it's not necessary to see the result. It is necessary to see which questions you didn't solve, bookmark them, solve them again, put it in your notes, short notes, whatever you have. Use the tests, don't judge from it. Great. So the, the three key points are like uh, cover the subject holistically, completely, multiple revisions and tests. Last but not the least, how to manage time and how to handle pressure in the examination hall. So before I complete this question, uh, let me give one uh, example. Uh, one of my students, uh, now he's in DRDO and he's a like bright student like you people. Uh, you know, like uh, I was expecting 80 plus marks from him. So he saw some three big questions, like uh, though they were easy, but the uh, language was a bit confusing. And like uh, the questions, uh, the length of the question was too high. So by looking at him, he got confused and he missed three continuous questions. He couldn't handle pressure. So he ended up with 62 marks. Actually, uh, he could have done it very well. So he could not handle the pressure. So in the examination hall, how to handle pressure and how to answer questions like uh, is it necessary to answer in orderly manner or like uh, is there any uh, like uh, strategy to skip questions and how to manage time and how to stay cool and composed during the examination hall which is very very important the basic preparation is different and handling pressure in examination hall is totally different and i want your inputs on this in the examination hall what to do because so you, like you cracked four exams, like not just four, but many. Uh, gate, sorry to interrupt, uh, Vishesh. Like gate, yes, sir, yes, sir. Uh, gate 23, he got 78th rank, 72nd rank, 72 rank in mechanical, 4th in PI. This time he got number one in production and 38 in mechanical. mechanical. This itself clearly shows that he is used to the situation. So we can learn a lot from his experience. Please go ahead, Vishesh. Sir, so in 2020, I appeared for gate and I got nervous. My preparation was strong. I got nervous and I scored uh, 718 rank. I missed four or five uh, questions, six, seven marks. Easily, I could have got within 150 or somewhere around 100. So I realized it very well. If you were preparing, prepare mentally not to be under pressure during the exam. Keep it in your mind that if you are going to be under pressure, please don't prepare because you will do everything right and eventually you will fall because of uh, nervousness. So nervousness should not be a part of attitude. Not only have discipline and aptitude in your uh, mentality, also have good attitude. Do not miss uh, this uh, nervousness thing. Do not fall into this trap. If you get nervous, then what is the point of preparing? So nervousness should not be there during the exam and during the exam do not feel like i have to solve all questions there are questions to be left nobody scores 100 so leave questions which are difficult leave questions which feel that they will take time but they will uh, be solved leave them uh, solve questions which are easier at first go through the paper and solve questions which are easier come back to those questions which uh, feel like they are tricky it will always be beneficial great great and uh, we can learn a lot like uh, you know like uh, no one is perfect and you cannot have 100 percent efficient uh, uh, engine cyclic engine even carnot cycle its efficiency is not 100 percent so there are some questions to be left and at the same time you study industrial engineering optimize something looking at the question paper you optimize you maximize your output so uh, these are the inputs and uh, i really appreciate uh, uh, your uh, uh, like thoughts on this and really i'm thankful to you uh, for joining this session and definitely this session will benefit our future students it's a straight direct talk and from the heart from my student uh, kumar vishesh i wish you all the best vishesh and last word from you to our future aspirants prepare hard do not fear <laughs> great god bless you all my dear students and wish you all the best. Vishesh, we are with you in your future uh, endeavors also. God bless you. Once again, congratulations. Celebrate and enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. Unacademy. Let's crack it.